A brock the owl, brock the owl say, brock the owl, brock the owl say, brock the owl, brock the owl say. O praise unto the Abba, Shimi Al Shai, Wahab Rakakadash. Double honors unto the Apostles of the Great Millstone. I'm sure you will be pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. This is going to be a quick video uh, dealing with uh, prophecy, okay, dealing with um, who the Israelites are today and how we identify them. I'm pretty much going into um, how these uh, curses. Okay, and how you know people's characteristics are based on those curses. Okay, effectively, that's how we identify who the Israelites are. Okay, so uh, you know, uh, 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 you got it to where the Mosai had it to where uh, 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 certain things were written down in the foretime. Okay, which is what you know as a prophecy. Okay, something that's said before it happens. Okay, so when you go into the book of Deuteronomy, the twenty-eighth chapter, and so on and so forth, you find out there was a list of uh, characteristics. Really, when you think about it, a list of characteristics that was going to pertain unto the 12 tribes of Israel, okay? Whether it be Judah, whether it be Benjamin, whether it be Ephraim, okay? Whoever it may be of the tribes was going to be bound by those particular characteristics. Now, what, you know, what you have out here is a situation where um, Trump, okay, uh, uh, basically, um, he, he fulfilled one of the prophecies, okay, in that... The scripture says that we was going to be what? A byword and a proverb. Okay. Amongst these people, we was going to be a byword and a proverb. And what's another thing you call a byword or a proverb? What's an example of a byword or a proverb? Be called, being called an animal. Okay. Now these dudes out here within this group, they ain't in their right mind because they're trying to fight, fight up against each other, which is, you know, which is the, the, the bit, the angle I'm going to go into because these gang banging groups, they ain't out here trying to destroy Okay, uh, 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 and, and I'm not saying to do that, but they ain't going out there to destroy, okay, the uh, um, Esau, okay, who's really oppressed them. They're coming out here to destroy one another, which is a fulfillment of the precepts uh, I'm going to get to you in, in, uh, get in a second. Okay, so they're out, they're out here you're killing one another, okay, which is a fulfillment of prophecy. And when these different nations was going to see that, they was going to look at, look at Judah and look at, look at, look at uh, 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 the Latin speaking tribes. And they was going to call you all kind of particular names of which this article goes into that. Okay. It goes into a little bit of that. So it says Trump, uh, 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 these are not people. These are animals of which what they're doing, they're living like beasts. Doth not the scriptures say when, when a man goeth away from the way of understanding, which is the scriptures. Okay. He's in the congregation of the dead. Okay. He's an animal. He's a beast. Okay. He has no order. He has no, he's no, he has no limits. And that's how these Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, before they come into this truth up. Okay, see, you know, you see, it's all good and well when you're going out there, okay, and you're, uh, 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 um, you're so-called teaching this, teaching this word, but you really got to see how these uh, scriptures apply, how these different nations see you, Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, knowing that they don't see you as these, you know, flavorsome, okay, uh, 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 um, you know, uh, 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 people that are full of, you know, uh, life and all of that, like how Jake likes to portray out there. They see you as a bunch of uh, uh, hooligans. Okay, they see you as a bunch of criminals. But see, there's a new thing within the mall, within the earth. The mall size got it to where this word is being pushed out their heart. And in this word being pushed out their heart, guess what's going to happen? Okay, the men that was walking in the congregation of the dead that might have been gangbangs. Okay, that might have been drug dealers. Okay, part of the drug cartel. They're going to leave off of the way of the dead. And they was going to come in and, and build up on the house that the mall size built, which is the house of David, the most important house upon the face of the earth. Okay, they was going to leave off of their so-called animal ways, okay, and go back onto the ways of righteousness, which is, which is, which is, which is, which is what we're doing now. Okay? This is what we're pushing for. We're pushing for the building of the house of David. Okay, so these are animals, which is a uh, fulfillment of prophecy. But see, the angle I wanted to hit at, okay, was this angle. So if I go back onto this, um, this particular uh, uh, article and go into who's involved within this group, okay, you find that, that it's a, it's a, it's a, um, it's, it's a bunch of uh, jakes, man. Okay, so uh, uh, um, so when you go into this, you find out who, who it's predominantly going into. Okay, it's predominantly uh, uh, people of, of Latin American descent, which are Israelites. And that that is, and, you know, who do, who, do they, who do they attack? Who, who are they fighting up against? Okay, who are they killing? Who are they, you know, we're talking about animal-like behavior. Ain't animal-like behavior that they have against Esau, or which, you know, something like, that's in the minority. The animal-like behavior that they're exhibiting is towards their own people, okay, which is a fulfillment of scripture. 
the book of Deuteronomy 28 chapter on the 54th verse, it says, so that the eye that is tender among you and um, very delicate, his eye shall be evil towards his brother, in case your fellow uh, Ephraimite or fellow Judite or whatever it may be. The scripture says that the, 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 the reason why you got it to where you got gang bangers and, and Jake killing Jake out here in London here, you got it to where you got Jake killing each other with knives and all of that. The reason why you have all of that is because the Maasai set it up, okay, that our eyes was going to be evil to work against each other. Okay, because if you're out there worshipping Baal or Cesar Bozier or all of these different gods of the gods of the heathens and you're joint together, well, guess what? You could, you know, you could rise up against these heathen nations and topple them over. Okay, the main thing why these jakes don't rise up is that they rising up in the name of your heart by outside. That's why this movement is so important. That's why the building of this house is so important because you can have unity. You can't have it to where you have unity and you're walking in the name of a, 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 a demon. Okay, that was always going to conjure up uh, uh, more more demons and, and the situation that we have out here. Okay, so the Mosai set it up to where what the eye was going to be evil towards his brother, and as a result, you have you you never get no you never have it to where Jake will come up together and so called topple over or, or whatever they was going to do. They wasn't going to rise up because the scriptures got it to where the, the Mosai set it up to where we wasn't going to prosper unless we be worshiping him. Okay, that's why that was the, the top command, right? Okay, so pretty much with that, hopefully that was of edification. Say all praise unto Yahweh, Shemiah, Shai, double honors unto the apostles of great millstone, honors your brothers that be pushing the truth and sincerity. Shalom.